But now let's say you are pleased with saying all the time my data or the name of the data file. You know, with every command you have to mention the data file name, right? And you are not happy with it. You just write attach your data file name. After that, whatever command you will run, it will use the same data file. And to remove it, you will have to again give a command detach the data file name. So you can only attach one data. Yeah, at a time. One data file at a time. Yeah. So let's say this one. We attach our data. Now you see with correlation, we just use the variable name. We don't have to mention uh, the data file name with a dollar sign anymore. We just use the variable name. Makes our life very easy, right? So this is the by default one, core. Correlation is negative, right? But it doesn't give us the p-value. We want to see p-value, right? This one, core.test, this comes under the psych package, but it gives us more information. You see, it gives us, yeah, it gives us correlation. Correlation is this, it gives us T values, significance level, confidence intervals. It gives us a lot more information, right? There is another package for correlation, which gives us a bit more opportunity. How? So here, hmm, can we have more than more than two? What what could be a variable name of interest? Sales price, temperature maybe. Promotion. Yeah, it cannot. But you can have three at a time with the hymns package. You know that's why we use that one. So I'm going to install that package and then running it from library. So first, here you see the command changed a little bit. It was core dot test. Now we use our core. You don't have to memorize all these things. Normally you will have one correlation. You just have to decide which one you need and then you keep using that one all the time. But today is the first time. That's why I'm showing you different, oppor different opportunities, right? So the simple form it gives also, it gives the correlation uh, between two variables, also gives you the sample size, also gives you the p-value in the matrix below, right? So it, it looks it's much it's a bit better than the previous one it gives all the information in a bit nicer way but now let's say we want to see correlation of a few variable at once you remember we were talking about subset creating a subset so that's how we use it we we create a new data data file uh, we call it cells data okay and then we take subset from our original data file, right? And to make the subset, we use select command and C, and then within C, we mention the name of the variables that we want to pick. And then we just run it. We will do the same for exploratory factor analysis or confirmatory factor analysis. Exploratory factor analysis, we will have to create a sub subset from our main data set because we will normally have like gender, uh, names and all these things, but we cannot have all the, these kind of variables in our exploited factor analysis, right? So we extract only the variables of interest for exploited factor analysis, creating a subset. Okay, but we'll do that tomorrow. But no, yeah. So with our core as matrix cells data, we should have a very nice correlation matrix. This is how we normally present them in a paper, right? You can just copy it in Excel and use it uh, in your paper. And you see that below, this is the diagonal, right? One, and the values above and below are the same. So we will just use one part of it, not both parts. Also, the p-values you see above and below are the same and diagonal is empty, right? Is it, uh, there, is there a, a, yeah, an easy way to export it to, to, to Word file? That is something I haven't really looked into. 
But normally what I've been doing is actually I have been just copying it in Excel. I, I, <laughs> there should be something, there, 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 there is something, you know, for sure, but I just uh, haven't really looked into it. Copy and we go to here. How do you make it nice? You go to, exactly, data, text to column, deli, delimited, next, space, maybe that works better. Yes, it works better now. Are we missing something here? The lower part, are we missing something? No, we can't really copy part by part. Yeah, you see this could be sometimes a bit tricky because we had some missing values here they combined both of them yeah now it's okay So yeah, normally I would remove these parts here and here I'll just try to make it a bit nicer and then I will put some starts here. Whenever it is a significant I will put starts and I will below here I will write p value less than yeah maybe word will be better yeah. But yeah you know that's how we can do these things.